welcome back to my channel today's video is a hair tutorial i wanted to show you guys how i achieved this curly hair look so if you are interested please keep watching if you haven't already go ahead and press that subscribe button down below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let's get started this is how my hair looks slightly blow dried and air dried i like to use the Tresemme heat protectant spray along with the l'oreal leave-in conditioner while my hair is damped to protect my hair from all of the heat once it's dried i'll go back in again and spray my hair with the spray and brush out all of the tangles out of my hair i'm just parting my hair now using a hair tie and some hair clips i like to start from the bottom and work my way up this is the only curling wand that I use. It is a one and a quarter inch curling wand by Revlon that I got from Target years ago. And basically I'm going to take one piece of hair and wrap it around the curling iron. I don't like to use a clamp because I want it to look as effortless as possible. And the pieces that are closer to my face, I'm wrapping away from my face. The pieces that are closer to the back of my hair is where I'll kind of alternate and wrap it towards my face. I leave each piece of hair wrapped around the wand for about 7 to 10 seconds and the heat is on the highest. I like to leave about 1 to 1 and a half inch of my hair on the bottom straight to achieve the looser type of curls. Once it's curled, I like to kind of tug on the bottom portion that I didn't curl to loosen it up. After I finish each part of my hair, I like to run my hands through it to loosen up the curls some more. I'm just going to repeat the same process and speed it up from here, but one of the tricks that I've learned is while your hair is wrapping around the curling iron, you kind of want to move the curling iron and the hair up and down in the opposite direction from each other. If I'm moving the curling wand up, then I'm moving the hair down and vice versa. I find that this trick not only makes the curls more loose, but it also doesn't have the harsh lines within the curls from where it starts and where it stops. I like to part my hair down the middle and all of the pieces that are framing my face, I'll curl away from my face. I wrap the hair just a tad bit tighter and hold the curls a little longer with the pieces in the front because those tend to drop a lot faster for me, but I'm still not curling the ends.
So now that I'm finished curling my hair, I'll run my fingers through it to loosen it up some more and finish it off with some of my favorite products. The first is the Way Texturizing Spray. This spray leaves my hair so much texture and so much volume. And I'll also finish it off with some cream and oil for some shine. I like to mix the Living Proof Frizz Styling Cream with the Olaplex Number no. 6 Bond Smoother and a couple of drops of this hair oil that I got from my hairstylist. I'll link it down below. But I like to mix these products in the palm of my hands and just slightly run it through my hair. The combination of all of these products doesn't leave my hair greasy at all and it lays down all of my flyaways and frizz and it just finishes my hair off so perfectly not to mention they all smell so good so here is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I know the steps were repetitive and it was a lot of hair fluffing but I thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next one bye